Hi, this is Jason from Clipfolio. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create and customize the map component. Furthermore, I'll explain how to set country IDs, add markers, and use colors to provide even more information to the viewers of your clip. So let's get started. Here's the map we're going to create. It shows the total sales by city within North America. It also has color-coded markers to indicate the amount of sales attributed to each city. We're going to start by choosing Add a Clip, then Build a Custom Clip, and we're going to choose the Map Component. We're going to use an existing data source from the library called Example Sales Booked. You can find this in your trial account so that you can follow along. The first thing we're going to do is click on ID, and we're going to select F, Country Code. Now often when you're working with a data source, you will only have access to country. If your data source only has the full country name, then you'll need to add a new data source that links the countries to their region IDs. You can download this file from the knowledge base on our website. I'll also put a link in the video description. The next thing we're going to do is click on color, and then we're going to choose revenue. This provides us with a color range based on the data available in column S. As you can see, the United States is darker because it has more revenue attributed to it. As you see when we evaluate this formula, there are multiple instances showing up, indicating that we should group this information. But first, we're going to apply a filter to remove the words country code. Then we're going to group the revenue data for the two countries. And by default, the aggregation method will be sum, which will give us the total revenue per country. And then we're going to add latitude and longitude markers onto the map. This time around, we're going to use the slice function, which will allow us to remove the header row, like we just did for the country IDs. For latitude, we're going to select column I, and for longitude, column J. Next, we're going to click on the name marker. Once again, we're going to add the slice function, and we're going to select the city name. Next, we're going to click on color, use the slice function again, and choose column S, revenue, so that we can color each marker by how much revenue that city has generated. Then if we click on properties, we can change the color that's showing up. We're going to go from a light red to a darker red. As you can see, our map is starting to take shape. We have the cities listed, they have their names labeled, and they're colored by revenue. Now we're going to do something similar with size. We'll once again use the slice function to get rid of the header row. And we're also going to choose revenue column S. Now our markers have grown in size, with the higher revenue cities appearing larger on the map. Now as you can see, the revenue numbers are now showing up twice on our tooltips. This is because both color and size are using that data. So we're going to click on size, click on properties, and deselect show value in tooltips. Now when we hover over the cities, the revenue only shows once. Now we're going to do some fine tuning. Click on color and properties, and we're going to change the format to currency. We're also going to add a prefix so that when someone's hovering over the map, they can easily tell that these are revenue numbers. Now since our map is of the entire world, we're going to add a zoom control so that we can zoom in on North America. And lastly, we're going to give our clip a title, Revenue Booked by City. And once we click Save and Finish, we can see that our map looks just like the one I showed you at the beginning of the video. And that ends our demo on how to use the map component. You can find more videos like this as well as our knowledge base and community forums at support.clipfolio.com.